Hello fellas and welcome back to Noobcraft. We are on episode 25 I believe, it's quarter 100. And today, as you may blatantly notice, uh, we have a time lapse. Um, the simple reason being is the um, old Dusty decided to completely corrupt and completely silence out my entire audio for ba this basic first part, which essentially the which is what I wanted you to see and everything, <clears throat> which was a bit of a pain in the arse. And so uh, I've decided to do it in a time lapse with a little music here and just probably just about here. And so, first thing I'm going to do is apologise for basically the lack of episodes for the last couple of weeks. The reason being is mostly because of things like Christmas and the new year going around. And also, I've had a few um, financial things I won't get into either. But um, other than those things, we are today making an iron farm we're just sorting out what blocks we're using in certain places uh, we're going to start with a small tower and lift it off about f five six blocks i think it's five blocks up and then we're then we're going to make in the middle which is there i've just placed and that chest there is where all the iron's going to go uh, we are making a standard sort of everyday iron golem far sort of 18 blocks by 18 blocks width and length and I'm not sure how tall it is it's quite a big one it's a bit taller than the library actually so it's gonna be about 30 blocks high or so it must be looks at least that <coughs> so about 18 by 18 by 30 or so something along the lines of that and this is essentially the killing chamber that we're building at this precise moment and that's where all the garden golems will fall into and get dragged into lava and obviously there's hoppers to grab the iron that there is and the poppies as well <coughs> now the signs are there to keep the um, lava at bay to keep it in a specific spot otherwise it will just make a mess um, yeah uh, that's all at the moment obviously we're killing the um, living skeletons that are coming around <coughs> kept running away obviously uh, when we're back to it, come on. There we go. I think we're doing that. Oh no, there's another one. Yeah, uh, on, just get rid of him. Get rid of him. There we go. <coughs> right. <coughs> Next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna head upwards and we're gonna start putting in the first platform. Are we? Where are we? Come on. Do the platform. There we go. Uh, <coughs> get to the top. Now we're doing the platform. We're putting. We're designing it with the um, stone bricks and chiselled stone mostly, and obviously the bit of glass you can see there. But he, um, we've got chiselled around the outside, he, um, sort of making borders of things like he, where the floors are, and around the outsides and the main corner pillars. I thought I'd do that just to sort of define the edges a bit, rather than just being one solid concrete block, in a, as it as it's sen in a sense. And that's essentially the drop shaft, where they'll, um, where they'll fall into. This platform will eventually have water on it as well. So what we're doing, we're going, we've been making the um, walls, walls up. They have to, they're going to be three high, and then doors are going to go on top of those. These corner pieces are going to be, um, have water in the corners, one water block in each of the corners, and they're just going to drop down each of those um, blocks and spread out evenly right over to the front middle <coughs> then obviously we want to torch it up so we don't get other monsters spawning and what we're doing now yo we're making a <coughs> new staircase I think in a sec when we've decided to oh well, we've got the buckets as well yeah go on there we go so yep, next thing is we're making it up he decides he's gonna go up on his own <coughs> there we go there we go up we go Next thing is the doors, and I think I've thrown a, thrown them a few. Yeah, yeah, I've got them. So yeah, we make some doors. Now this was a bit of a pain in the ass because he, um, with my strict sort of perfectionism, I insist on it having um, all the doors being like like you would a standard two set of doors. Unfortunately, half the time they decided it'd be better for them to just like go in one direction rather than two double doors each time and about I think it's yeah it'd be eight double doors rather than sixteen single ones going in a certain direction. Which helped. It's it it does look better when you have like just double doors rather than singles all the way around. It adds to the um, symmetry of it I think. That's probably the best way of doing it. 
Uh, next one is we line in the top with the bricks and above that will be the um, the next floor as well. <coughs> I don't know what he's doing there. He's asking for something. There we go. Build it up. Yeah. Here's the next floor. And we're only gonna we've only got the two floors on this one. And we are currently getting the villages for this thing as well. So in there is where the iron golems should spawn. And hopefully we can get them in there. Uh, at the moment I don't think we've got any. It's been a pain in the ass to get the villagers down. But we are um, in the process of that as we speak. Now, well, in the process of not that as we speak, as we speak I'm watching this for you. And we commentate to you, but in the meantime... We'll be grabbing any um, villages to fill it up, and I'll let you know when we we'll finally get enough to actually get some golems on the go. But at the moment, we're lighting it up because it's so it doesn't spawn anything. And the next floor, we'll end up um, putting any um, some um, quarter half slabs rather than full blocks because it'd be much easier that way. And it sort of saves on the bricks as well. So this is the second floor. But again, we're going to put those. Um, these um, sort of triangle bits on the edge and then the water again will go on the very, very end corners that will the, um, drag, the, drag the iron gums down now light it up so all the mobs don't spawn we could use it as an, another type of mob spawner but it's it's not ideal because it's this is it's not really a, a best way of doing it don't. there was a small cut there if you may have seen yeah, that's pretty much when we got all these slabs going around. Obviously, I screw up. Uh, where is it? In a second. There it is. That's where I screw up. But it's fixed. <coughs> Which helps. It sort of breaks up the design a bit, so it's not just one solid block. I suppose it'll, it'll help that way. Uh, once we've got that one around, then we put on the roof. That didn't... It, honestly, if it wasn't for the audacity playing it up, we probably would have had essentially everything in one episode. Well, well we are now, but we'd have had the um, like basically a main line. It's probably like the first time we've actually got on with a project and not got sidetracked by something else happening, which is a bit unusual for us, really. But <clears throat> hey ho, what are you gonna do? But in, at the moment, they were just throwing on the roof. We don't need the um, the um, platform on the top now because it's only going to be too high. Um, I'm not certain if you can actually make them um, like full height. I don't know when, like, sort of, how close they have to be to the doors. So that may be the top level you can use. I'm not certain. I've not really looked into it much. But um, this is the standard design, so it's it's going to get it'd be enough for the server as it is for now. Uh, just lighten up the top so nothing spawns on top. It helps the rates a little. So I think the next thing we're doing, yeah, we're getting some signs so we can um, block all the water from pouring down in the middle because that's what it's doing at the moment. Uh, so we need the signs to sort of stop it pouring in. Um, I think Brad put in the um, the first set in there on the top. Yeah, there we go. There he goes. He puts in the signs. <coughs> Takes some time doing it, but yeah, signs in the next one, and then we'll put in the water in the other edges as well. Once that's done, we can drop down and put the water in the bottom. And that is the main design for the iron farm, the iron golem farm, done. The only thing to do then is throw in the lava, which I think he does in a minute. Yeah, just need to throw in the lava and then grab the villagers. <coughs> so, what are we doing? I think we're just um, checking stuff, see if it's all okay. Oh no, here we go, we're putting in the um, platforms. That's what we're doing, yes. Um, I completely forgot about those, to be honest. <coughs> so we could do that. I go there all the way around, putting those platforms in, ready for the villagers to be put into. We haven't put the villagers in those at this precise moment. We do have them, but we've put them down below at the moment, simply because we're trying to get trying to breed them a little if we can. Although we are struggling with that a bit. It's it's not an easy thing to do breeding villagers. It's probably like as far as I know, it's the hardest thing to yeah. Um, breed which is a bit of a shame but hey ho well he, um, we'll get there eventually it'll just take a bit of time and once it's done we'll have a nice set of iron on the go and we don't really need to farm it all which is being a bit of a pain now 
This at this point in time, we've just got ready to go out and venture towards some of the villages, and I think Bradley said he found one. Yeah, not too far. I think, I think actually, it's yeah next to the desert we've raided. So just behind that mountain is the desert we've raided for all the sand, which we've used for glass and stuff, and sandstone and all sorts of other things. So if we go to a, bit, a desert, it's beyond there. But this one's not too far off, and he said he found a way to do it. And that's throwing him into a boat, as you see then. And then someone getting in the boat, and then sort of using it on the grass, which I actually didn't think you could do, to be honest. And basically, just boat it back, which is quite surprising. And then you use pistons and whatnot to um, take it up any floors that you'd need. Um, I don't know what he's doing. I think he's just playing around with something. I think it was just waiting for him to thingy. move it. <clears throat> I don't know. Come on, keep going. There we go, Bob. Yeah, I think that because this is the first time we did it, it was sort of getting used to it. But once we got there, it was the um, it was all right. I think we're coming. There's a ravine there. I think we go around this one. Don't yeah, we do there. It's a bit of annoying. We couldn't get past a couple of the um, edges as well. Oh god, it's a bit of a shaky one as well. Then we when we came up to this bit where we couldn't get through, no, then we could. Uh, and if you just down there is where the <coughs> the um, thingy is, what's it called, the um, nether portal. And then we end up here, and we find out we can't actually go past slabs with them either, which was not quite what we was going for. We kind of hoped we could do that, <coughs> but no matter. So is the last home straight where we um, this is. A quick way of doing it. He probably should have bought more pistons to begin with, but hope no matter. We got there eventually. So then we go along and across, and we go down. Down. It's nice and easy. Sleeping again. Stop the valley. Stop the zombies from spawning. And then we can't end up. Forget we can't get up there. <coughs> so what we do? Well, we get to Matt, <coughs> and then he ends up running away. We don't know where he went. Where he was trying to get to. We weren't sure. Well, I wasn't sure whether he was trying to get into the warehouse or something like that. But they decided it was a good idea to send him that way. And then again on the other side. <coughs> <coughs> Excuse me. Now, here is another thing we sort of didn't quite anticipate was the um, getting the villager up these stairs. So what we did eventually <coughs> is we got him on top of the main area there, and then we sort of put dirt along, as you could see. And we use that dirt to sort of balance him on on it and straight over to the um, grass part over on the other side, and then we could go straight down to the iron farm. It took us a bit of time for Benny to work out what I was getting at, but he got there eventually. So once we was up there, he was pretty much straight up and straight down the hill. We we didn't end up putting him inside, as I said, because we um, we was hoping we could breed them down below. It'd be nice and easier for him to find. So we kept him there, and we went out to get some more, because we can't exactly breed one. Now this is the second set we went to get. And this one's in a village a lot further away. Well, when I say a lot, it's quite a bit further away. I don't think it's a lot further. It's not as far as you think it would be. <coughs> at the moment, I think, yeah, um, yeah, here's what we do. So we end, we found, figured it, we went onto like a uh, mine atlas which is what we use to sort of define and find out where all our biomes are and when we do that it's, um, it saves us the, um, wandering around aimlessly looking for random biomes so what we do is basically just walk that way and walk to essentially the biome we want and mind that this, it'll tell you where all the spine, spawn, the slime chunks are villages, witches huts you name it, it'll tell you where they are and it's it's quite a good it's quite a good um, website to use. So if you don't if you want to have to check that out, we'll link the um, I'll link it in the description here, Mine Atlas itself as to what we use. Um, you can use it for an, any seed, and I think you can actually use it for different versions as well. But I'm not 100 certain about that. But we end up going along. We end up um, finding a river. We think to be able to get through. And then we turned and had some fun with the um, some of that sand dropping, and I think we go over, don't we? He sleeps, and then we go over to we um, 
a village on the other side of this desert. Well, it's not actually on the other side of the desert. The sea's on the other side of this desert, and it's rare, and it's a bit further yeah, west as well. So, is it west or is it east? I don't know. It's west, I think. Yeah, so I figured out which way, where it was, and where we were going. So, yeah, we ended up going north, and then he, um, heading slightly west as well. So, if just on that island there. There we go. There, that's where it was. I spotted it. I ended up here. Oh, that was a lighting glitch. I thought it was a whole cave. And we find, <coughs> I think it was about four villagers here. <coughs> was it four? Yeah, I think it was four we found. So we ended up here. Well, it's like there was five villagers, but one of them was a green cloak. And apparently, green cloaks can't breed at all. So we ended up not taking him. So he's still in that village at the moment. <coughs> you don't know what he's going to be like. Whether you can do them, I'm not certain. I just wanted to. Bradley was sort of curious about them, so we thought we better leave him, no, get him last if we ever did need them. Because if he doesn't make, if you can't breed with them, then it's pointless taking them with us, isn't it? So that was the thing. So I figured out essentially a quick way for us to get back. And what I didn't realise is the um, attached to this sea is a river, i.e., this river. Which then attaches to the, it's, it's, it attaches to the lake, that's right next to the slime farm. So this, that's why we actually went past this, went this way rather than back the way we came. It was much easier for us to um, navigate across. Other than the fact that the um, a few of the, a bit of the, a lot large chunks of the river were sort of blocked in. And there, uh, something funny happened. The cow ended up inside the um, boat, so. We had to remove the boat and then get him back, which was a bit of a pain in the ass. It's a bit of a shame you can't take them out of the boats while you're um, as well, rather without actually having to remove the boat. So once I've found out where we were, once again, which is what this was, I was checking the blocks through the mine atlas and where we were currently, <coughs> and then we found the slime farm. And that's essentially where we came out, although that took a bit longer than expected as well. <coughs> You'll see it a second. So we didn't take any um, redstone blocks with us, so we had to sort of glitch it out. Which, it wasn't the best method, I will admit, but hey-ho. <coughs> so we ended up getting them out at some, some point, when we can. Where is it? Come on, get them out, get them out. I kept nicking his levers because he wasn't really doing it. But there we go, we got him out eventually. And we threw him back inside the um, boat. And then the main annoying part was getting it up and above that slime farm. Because we have to go over the slime farm to get to the village. And that took some time because we needed a crap ton of these um, pistons and levers. So we ended up doing it one by one, going up one, one two blocks, and then going back to the next one. Somehow I ended up once it did it once, and you got what you just saw there is I got kicked from the server saying that flying wasn't allowed. That made me laugh because yes, I do admit flying's not allowed. However, how it thought I was flying in the first place, I do not know. <laughs> so yeah, that was an unusual one. That was an unusual glitch that came through. Made me chuckle a bit. But what we've done here, what we did at this point, we just took them to the top. Once we were there, it was kind of a, um, it was getting late and whatnot, so we um, we sort of saved the um, at that point and sort of stored the vidges there until the next day. I don't know what was happening here. Come on, log back in. There we go. I think he was killing some zombies or something like that. But yeah, we got there. We, we've just blocked him in, and we was, we continued on in the next part. I think well, I don't know what was that mean now. Yeah. We sort of figured out the best method to take them across, which we never end up using anyway, because we find another method, and that's basically Brad using his Ice Walker boots to send them across. Although that would have been a good, better method. However, we come to tr some trouble with that as well. <coughs> so what we do is we end up um, using his ice boots and boating them across with his uh, <coughs> on the boat and on the ice that his uh, Frost Walker boots make. So, right in the slime farm. The slime farm, while we're while we're here and talking about it, is in a sense finished. <clears throat> it's not the most 
efficient thing in the world, and it's not the largest one you'll get. But this is this is the funny part, because we tried to come across, and we did not realise how fast the boats would fly across the, that ice. It just shot across. It was insane. I, I never actually thought it would be so fast. <clears throat> it's actually quicker to go on the ice than it is anything else, but we got them across, and we couldn't, I couldn't move that one, so I had to move the other one first. Then we ended up taking them all the way to the next section. And it's a bit annoying, because every time I was there, I had to move one, come back, and put the other one back. And, I don't know, it was a difficult situation. Getting it up, it was a pain in the ass, but we, we got there eventually. <coughs> now, at the moment, I think we're, yeah, we're just flowing them around. Uh, sent them pretty much on the grass as far as I could. Then threw them up these two um, levels, three levels actually. Then sort of went back to the next one. And once we got, uh, was it this one? No, it was the next one, I think, sex. So when the next set come, we decided, we figured out we could trade with the villagers while they were inside the boats. Which wasn't too bad, we got an achievement for those as well, so we ended up doing that. Now at that point in time, we're back to the same position we was in. I threw them both all onto the um, into there, and then Brad was the um, we had sort of rolls for each other, where he would essentially make get the path ready for me with pistons or whatever needed doing, and I would move the um, villages to where they'd need to go, and <coughs> I think it's this one, and that's where the creeper happens and it kills the first villager. That was a little annoying. <coughs> So we ended up having to replace and fix that lot, and we lost a villager. But in the meantime, we ended up moving the next villager further along. So we got one villager at two then, but we I think there was two more we brought as well, so we got four in total. So hopefully they'll breed at some point, and we can um, make it a little easier. At this point in time, we're just placing them and making a room for them up again. So at the moment, the villagers are living in this room we're building right now, and I think I get a fence, and <coughs> yeah, I used the fence of the carpet trick so we could get over, but the AI doesn't, you, doesn't f class it as a walkable block, so they don't actually walk on the, um, what's the name, the carpet, so you can go over it, but they can't. And that, that helps us get in without them escaping. <coughs> and so once we'd figured that out, I, that's where this is where I'm putting the um, the fence and the thing in. When I actually decide, oh yeah, I had to put it lower because they had to take off the um, top one. Then we took out those and we was trying, to, was hoping they would um, breathe, but they never did. I don't know whether they have at the moment. I've been on for about a day or so, <coughs> but we'll um, we'll I'll come back onto there later and we'll find out. Now, <coughs> excuse me. <coughs> right now, I think we're going to um, we're going to head off and get the next set. I believe he was just bragging about his frostwalker boots freezing my things. So the next thing we do is go and get the next set, um, or either that will prepare. I think we're preparing actually. Oh, here we go. Here we go. I think we're going to get the next set now. Yeah, here we go. So we end up back on tile the um head up to the river again. Up the lake. And then end up here, um, we'll just boat all the way back to that village again. Trying to figure out which way the correct direction was for it. Is it nope, next one. There. That's where it is. Then we end up going back. It's not as far as you think it would be. We thought it was gonna take um, a couple of hours to get to, but it only took about 10 minutes max no more than 10 minutes I mean, how quick was that that is that's um, and we're basically there that was nice and easy both of us nearly fell down that <coughs> but then we end up and we go ready and grab the next two villagers and this is where I spot the green coat or oh, this top end but I didn't realize until we got there <coughs> once we'd found him I was like, right, green coat, we can't take him. So then, that's where I've decided, right, yeah, we can't take him, so we've got to get in the next one. So I threw Brad's boat down, <coughs> then I found a cave that they could pretty much be killed through. 
and struggled to find the other, another person because we were surprised how small this town was. <clears throat> and then once we found him, where was he? He was inside the something like that. So we put him inside the boat, and once it was in there, we slept. And we headed up and boated the next guy back. <coughs> <coughs> oh, my throat's killing me. <coughs> Sorry about that. Now, we pretty much head back the same way as we came that time. I can't remember what I was doing at the time. Oh, yes, we were singing sea shanties. <laughs> That's what we were doing. <laughs> so, yeah, singing sea shanties and getting heading our way back to the um, slime farm once again. And thankfully, once we'd done it a couple of times, we figured out an easy way to get the. Um, we figured out a method to get through. And because we've built this river, we didn't have to come out and change it all. So it was a, it was a it was a much easier the second time because we knew what to do to get it out and everything. So he decided to freeze the water, <coughs> and I think he figured out he could he, um, double click it, and it would power it quick enough. It took him a minute to to work that out though I think, but once we um <coughs> once we got them he, um in their correct boats rather than two separate ones, we end, we took a basically up the same direction as we did last time. <coughs> I think we I think he brought an extra couple of the um, pistons though, so it, it was a much much quicker. So instead of instead of putting two down, moving them up two, moving one. Then moving another one and moving each of the pistons some one at a time, we threw down about five or six pistons and levers, and then just took them to the top, and it really sped up the process. At that point in time, I was just getting fed up of things spawning around there. Uh, at that point, uh, trying to we're trying to go over. Unfortunately, <coughs> we it was a it does go really fast when you're using it on ice, so we had to try and get through there as well. You had to get out of the water again, which is obvious because it would fall in. Uh, now we're heading past the mushroom farm to, and we're sending them up straight up the same place. He puts them in, and I'm going forwards and holding them up so we can um, continue. Uh, we got the next one, so it goes up the um, stairs here. There we go. That's where the stairs are. So once they've gone up there, we send them round past the chicken farm. I think I take them to about there, and that's when this is when we find the um, trading thing, and we end up deciding trying to trade with them, and up getting a couple of your achievements each of us. I think we traded zombie flesh for an emerald. Um, I think chicken was one of them. I can't remember what the last one. There was three different trades we ended up doing. <coughs> I know ch I think chicken and was it no, it was, it was raw pork chops. There they are. But if I'm in pig, not chicken, I think it was chicken, pork chops, and <coughs> what's the name? Um, the zombie flesh. So I ended up doing the pork chop one, so I ended up getting the, the achievement for it, which which was nice and dandy. And then we ended up continuing and send them to the iron farm once again over our Paris journey to the through the observatory. That's it's actually not as easy as it looks, but. I would admit I actually didn't think we'd end up actually finishing this and I thought we'd end up getting stuck somewhere but it wasn't too bad once we killed the zombie that was inside the boat and finally ended up got the day on it <coughs> I set on fire Brad did notice there was pillars after god knows how many months and we continued on the last bit we're doing is we're sending these villagers up to this cliff um, this, however, proved a bit more difficult because we've got all these blooming zombies and mobs and creepers blowing up on this bloody thing, and I'd had enough, so I threw down a crap load of torches just there. So hopefully, it'll stop them spawning in the future. And we sent the villagers into here. So, for now, thanks for watching. Thank, leave a like if you like this episode. Subscribe to see some more, and I'll see you in the next one. Bye.